Hi, it's Disney Girl back for another episode of my Disney's Magic Kingdoms game. So I decided to level up Fred because I'm trying to save up some of my seashells so I can level up some of my Little Mermaid characters. But here he is. He is now level six. Holy mother of Megazon. This is cool. I love his costume. It's so sick. I love hanging out at SFIT more than anyone I know, but even I've got to switch things up every so often. Also, I owe the campus cleaning staff a solid for that time I left all those pizza boxes in the cyclotron by accident. Anyway, today the Lucky Cat Cafe is calling me, and it's got an armchair with my name on it. That's not a metaphor. By the way, I wrote Fred on the footrest last month without knowing it was permanent marker. Fred Cave. So this is a side quest. So send Fred to hang out at the Lucky Cat Cafe. So that is eight hours. All right. See you, Fred. Check him out. Roar. <laughs> he should be yelling that while he runs. That would be so sick. All right. So I got a chest or two to open. And then I will be continuing um, today to try and unlock Ursula. That is the goal. So we've got my calendar reward here and four gems. So guys, make sure you collect your daily reward so you get the gems. Free gems. We love it. And since I we logged on every day, I got a streak reward. So this is a gold chest here. Recently, I got the Bambi float, so I don't know. Orange pattern fabric token six. This is legendary in the gold chest. This is absolutely amazing because I actually need that fabric for, I believe it's um, Donald's Halloween costume. I'm just gonna clarify that for sure, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, actually, and that is the first piece of fabric that I've gotten for that, so amazingness. I've been sending Flynn Rider, I think it is, to get the other one, the other pattern, so um, some days not super successful, and it takes 24 hours for him, so yeah. Um, now the toy trident stand is the only thing I am missing from the radiant chest So that is definitely something I'm looking forward to um, in tomorrow's chest. Hopefully I will get it otherwise um, Hopefully maybe from the leaderboard We'll see King Triton <laughs> Long time no see Don't test me Ursula Whatever you've done to Ariel, I swear I'll... Oh, that little spell. Why, that's merely a trifle, and easily reversible at that. Provided, of course, that you surrender all of your powers and that pretty little trident of yours to me. Quest complete, let's have a look-see. Ursula, that is barbaric, even for you. Uh-oh, he's mad. He's super mad. Sebastian, you cannot be serious. Your Majesty, you gave up your powers to Ursula once before. And look what came of that. I know, Sebastian, but if we can't find some other way to break the spell on Ariel, I may have no other choice. Then we will find another way, even if I have to defeat the Sea Witch myself. Uh, though I would rather we think of some, some other ideas first. King's Council. So this is an event quest, so to continue it on, send Sebastian and King Triton to discuss their options. So that is a six hour quest, so they going off to do that. I'm not using gems, guys, but I have had to cut the clips. <sighs> well, the Horatio, Darlenius, Ignatius, Crustaceous, Sebastian, Memorial Goldfish, Chariot is something, anyway. But I wish they could have fit my whole name on it without running out of space. Quest complete in honor of at least it's got Orat on it. I really need a bigger chariot. 
All right, more dialogue. Jumping jellyfish. I've been so wrapped up in all the craziness. I forgot one thing, one very important thing. Who's gonna cater at the festival's after party? This is serious, man. If it's the humans, well, if it's that human, then... I mean, cuisine. So this is a side quest. Send Sebastian to fret about the festival's menu. So that's eight hours, but I'm not going to be doing that. I'm going to get him to discuss their options with King Triton. Now, as I said, I am not using gems, but I've had to cut a whole bunch of clips because I have no other choice. There are so many, and they are so long. I would have had to do like 100 videos. Flounder! And that's why I, I think you sh should let Ariel swim where she wants to swim and and walk where she wants to walk. And and another thing, I Flounder Yay! Uh, your ma your kingfulness. I I mean your tristancy. I mean <laughs> it takes a bold fish to speak the truth to power like that. I'm glad my Ariel has such an honest friend. Quest complete. He's no guppy. You are. I, I mean, thank you, Your Majesty. I'm glad she has such a uh, such a nice dad. Poor Flounder. He's so scared of Triton. We feel so bad for him. But I definitely love the little screens on the side, guys. Especially for Ariel, Flounder, and King Triton. I think it is such a cool little side screen whenever you give them a high five. Super cute. I was wondering how they were going to do that, but they've definitely done it perfectly. I can't even think of a better way, for sure. All right, so I gotta send some of my characters out here. Um, I'm still working on collecting more magic again. Um, I know I don't have a lot, but I did open that two million land slot. That's where all of my magic went. If you guys have missed some of my videos lately, that's why my magic is like just over 100,000. Gogo is now level seven. Time to woman up. She's awesome, she's super cool. So I've been thinking about what I am going to do about my Big Hero 6 characters once I have leveled up all of the Lilo and Stitch. So I have a few options. I can either focus on them to get them to level 10 because I'm sure I'm going to need them nice and high um, before the next event because they could be the characters that will be used um, quite soon just like the Lilo and Stitch characters. So. That is a possibility, so I could work on that, or I could work on my main storyline a lot more and try and push that ahead. Um, I'm not quite sure. I mean, I could focus, too, on a another collection. So, for example, like, I've got most of the Frozen. I could do most of the Frozen collection, probably, and just... Um, sort of see or else I could do Beauty and the Beast or Winnie the Pooh like full collections maybe that I have so I'm not quite sure what I want to focus on because obviously to level up these event characters once the events over it is a lot of magic to do so again I'm not quite sure how I want to handle this like they are pretty high already so I could just leave them but or just maybe level them up once in a while like I've been doing lately and just sort of so they can collect character tokens for that character and then it just leaves it at that. I'm not quite sure yet so let me know in the comments below if you have any suggestions for me. Alright so now that Gogo -Go is leveled up though um, that leaves me to I think I only have one more to do um, in my Lilo and Stitch. I wanted to check I think Rapunzel though I think she's ready to go to level 10 um, I don't know. I think there's a lot of characters there for sure that need to be leveled up as part of my main storyline. So Stitch is at a level 9 and actually he is my last character to go. But guys, he was 54,000 magic to level up to level 10. So you see what I mean. These characters are a little bit ridiculous. What's wrong, Sebastian? You look more worried than usual. Oh, Ariel, I am all right. 
but your father is not. It is all I can do to convince him not to give up his powers to Ursula. Give up his... Oh no! I know he would do anything to keep me safe, but that would be... I'll talk to him, Sebastian. Right away. Maybe I can change his mind. Quest complete. King's Council. I hope you can, Ariel. For both of our sakes. We want more Ariel dialogue. Come on. Yay! Daddy, I know you mean well, but I'm not going to let Ursula manipulate me again. And you shouldn't either. I know that, Ariel, but if my dealing with Ursula is the only thing that can bring you and your prince together again, then... It isn't the only thing. We'll find another way. I'm sure we will. But for now, will you please help me rehearse for our show? <sighs> Very well. Once Sebastian is ready for me, at any rate. But this conversation is not over, young lady. Face the music. Send Sebastian to prep for rehearsal with Triton. So I guess Triton is just watching. He's obviously not participating in this shenanigan. That would be weird if he was. Well, I guess it would be possible. So now that they're off to do that, Fred should be just about done his quest here. Yeah, he is. Ah, uh, I love that place. And I only gotta come back five more times before Cass says she'll name a sandwich after me. And before you ask, it's an all beef patty with chili sauce on an extra crunchy ramen noodle bun with way too many pickles. Now, I know what you're thinking. How many pickles is way too many? Believe me, you'll know. Quest complete. To the Fred Cave. If you're gonna make the Fred just right, you gotta learn to trust your instincts. Oh no. What is it, like a mountain of pickles? I mean, pickles are good, but you gotta have an acquired taste for them. And there's so many different kinds. Which kind, Fred? Which kind? <laughs> Okay, so I know I need to rearrange my kingdom a little bit. I am going to wait, though, until I've got all the attractions, at least, for the Little Mermaid. And then um, it might lead me to the very end of it, but we will see. Sebastian, he is late. I know that the Sea King has a lot on his mind right now, but... God, your majesty, I did not see you swimming there. F forgive me. But are you sure you are ready to rehearse to... Yes, Sebastian. Let's get this over with. Oh no, that is not a good sign. Quest complete. Face the music. I mean, yes, your majesty. Let us begin. I am not sure that the Sea King has his heart in it, but Ariel is still right. We must keep rehearsing. This will be the last time we practice before the concert. Ariel tells me that the humans call it a blouse rehearsal. Or some nonsense like that. Anyway, whatever ridiculous kind of thing a blouse is, we do not have it under the sea. Skirt rehearsal, maybe? Finish collecting dingle hoppers. So I am done that, which means that we just move on to the next quest right away. Excellent, excellent. What a performance it will be. We're gonna knock the audience right on their tail fins. I know it. Just one tiny thing. Your Majesty, if you could use violet lights instead of red during the final, that would be... Your Majesty? Quest complete. Skirt rehearsal, maybe? 
Where did he go? Oh, scuttle dialogue. We haven't had that for a bit. Ah! I knew it. All this time I've been trying to get this snarf plant in tune. And all I had to do was play it upside down. Think the blood went to my head when I was doing that loop-de-loop, -loop, though. Almost thought I saw Ursula talking to herself. Wait. Gull's eye view sent Scuttle to spy on Ursula in Atlantica. Wait a second. How is he getting under the water or under the sea to see that? I don't know. These things are a little bit confusing to me still. I know it's a theme park, but still... All right, so I'm still not going to get Sebastian to fret about the menu just yet. That side quest will have to wait um, until I unlock Ursula, I think. And then after that, um, I will send him off for that. Because that is a pretty long one. And I want to try and get to it <laughs> in this video. So, again, I know it's long and there's so much dialogue. But uh, cutting clips and audio recordings... It's a lot of work here, but it's it's going to be good. Hopefully we get to that point, and uh, hopefully you guys are enjoying this video. And if you guys are, make sure to give it a big Mickey thumbs up and subscribe for lots more Disney Girl fun, especially with this awesome event, The Little Mermaid. I love it so much. All right, we're going to get some more dialogue from Scuttle. Ooh, but it's not. It's Ursula. <laughs> this is too easy. Just too easy. The great sea king's practically ready to gift wrap his trident for me. And I didn't even have to lift a tentacle. Oh, I should have visited this kingdom ages ago. That charming old curse hovering over it is simply divine. Who would have thought it had turned that bratty little princess back into a mermaid for me and let me take all the credit? Quest complete, Gull's Eye View. Oh no, this is, well, this is a catastrophism. It is what it is. I, I gotta tell Ariel. Just don't knock your head on the way out. Ariel! Oh, Sebastian, you ain't Ariel, that's for sure, but you gotta hear this too. I was, I was flying, you see, and unless you know where to find the Sea King Scuttle, I am not interested. I fear he has gone off to surrender to Ursula. Surrender to? Oh no, well, this compilates things considerably. I got news for you, pal. And it ain't the feel-good kind. What's the scuttlebutt? Send Sebastian and Scuttle to confer in the grotto. Okay, so they are now off to do that for four hours. Wow, this is taking a long time, guys, to unlock Ursula. I mean, great dialogue. I'm absolutely loving it, but still... <laughs> All right, so here we go. Ariel! Oh, this is terrible. You must come with me and Scuttle at once. It is about your father. My father? What's wrong, Sebastian? He's gonna give up his powers to the sea witch. That's what is wrong. And the worst part of it is, she cannot even turn you back into a human again. She was bluffing the whole time. Quest complete. What's the scuttlebutt? I have never been such a nervous wreck in all of my life. But we must hurry. Alright, go, 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 Sebastian. Figure it out. Stop, Triton. I've thought about it long and hard during rehearsal, and Ursula leaves me with no choice. 
if I can just reason with her, negotiate for Ariel's humanity, even if it means giving something up in return. Well, it's a small price to pay for my daughter's happiness. Moment of truth. Send King Triton to Atlantica to cut a deal. No, don't do it. We gotta stop him. But he's already gone. No, somebody needs to go in there after him. But they're not. There's no there's no dialogue for them to do that. What are we gonna do? Is King Triton really gonna give up his powers? I don't think so. There's gotta be some way to stop him. Alright, let's find out what happened. Daddy, stop! Ariel, what are you doing here? This is far too dangerous for... Please, listen to me. Ursula has been lying to you. She didn't turn me back into a mermaid at all. This kingdom's curse did. You spent so much of your life trying to protect me. Please, let me protect you for once. Quest complete. Moment of truth. Ariel, if this is true, then Ursula has a lot to answer for. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's gonna happen? He's gonna get so mad. At least he didn't give anything up. Well, well, well. The king has returned. Ready to talk terms, are we? I do so love a bargain. Enough! I know everything, Ursula. How you lied to me about the curse, threatened my daughter. This ends now! <laughs> well, it was a lovely plan while it lasted, I suppose. Pity it had to end with a getaway instead of a contract. Hmm. She's running? What? Where did she- Ursula? This isn't over! Oh, he's so angry! Welcome, a sea witch! We have done it! Wow, after all of that. So you guys have a long road ahead of you if you are trying to um, bring in Ursula. It's definitely going to be tricky, but you have three days, three hours until she is officially unlocked. Um, and that puts us at 14 days, six hours left. Um, in the event. So that is awesome. So now I've just got to do the waiting game again for three whole days. Any suggestions what I should do in the meantime? Um, I will be doing though a live stream on the day Ursula is officially released to us. Um, I will be doing it 1030 Eastern Standard Time and um, yeah so we'll kind of go through we'll talk about the kingdom if you guys have any questions about how to get to this point if you guys are falling a bit behind. Um, I will try and do my best to help you guys out. And uh, yeah, so we'll see you guys for the next episode. And hopefully you can make it for the live stream on Friday. Bye!